हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग आज की इस वीडियो लेक्चर में बात कर रहे हैं स्टर्नम के बारे में सो स्टर्नम इज अलोंगेटेड फ्लैट है इट लाइज ऑन द एंटीरियर मीडियम पार्ट ऑफ द चेस्ट वॉल सो इट इज अलोंगेटेड फ्लैट बोन और वर्टिकल बोन सो द स्टर्नम हैविंग अ थ्री पार्ट्स अपर एक्सपांडेड पार्ट दिस इज नोन एज अ मैनीपोरियम द मिडिल पार्ट दिस इज नोन एज अ बॉडी ऑफ द sternum and the lower pointed part this is known as a gyphoid process of the sternum isko hum tulna karte hain talwar se it's a sword like structure having a handle so handle is a manipurium body this is the blade like structure this is known as a body of the mani sternum and this is the pointed part of the sword this is known as a gyphoid process of the sternum ab one by one hum baat karte hain sternum ke ek ek parts ke bare mein sabse pehle baat karte hain manipurium सो मैनीबोरियम इज अ थीक क्वाड्रेंगुलर इन सेप ओके हैविंग फोर बॉर्डर इस द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर इन्फीरियर बॉर्डर राइट लैटरल बॉर्डर एंड द लेफ्ट लैटरल बॉर्डर एंड टू सरफेस दैट इज अ एंटीरियर सरफेस एंड द पोस्टीरियर सरफेस द एंटीरियर सरफेस इज अ कन्वेक्स एंड रॉफ एंड द पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस इज अ कनकेव एंड द स्मूथ ओके सो एंड द सुपेरियर बॉर्डर द सुपेरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द स्टर्नम या मैनबोरियम हैविंग अ नोच दिस इज नोन एज अ सुपरा स्टर्नल नोच या कनकेविटी ऑफ द मैनबोरियम दिस इज नोन एज अ सुपरा स्टर्नल नोच एंड द सुपरा स्टर्नल नोच प्रोवाइड द अटैचमेंट ऑफ द इंटर क्लैरिकुलर लिगामेंट उसके बारे में बात करते हैं यहाँ पे नाउ द लैटरल बॉर्डर two lateral border so on the lateral border there is a two facets that is the upper facet for the clavicle form a sterno clavicular joint so this is the facet for the sterno form the sterno clavicular joint and there is attachment of the interclavicular ligament okay below to the clavicular facet is another facet known as facet for the first costal cartilage this articulation of the first rib which form the primary cartilaginous joint now the lower border of the sternum so this lower border is a uh, pointed or the narrow it form it articulate with the body of the sternum form a secondary cartilaginous joint known as a manibulio sternal joint and there is a uh, formation of the angle this angle is known as a angle of lewis angle of lewis is a uh, important clinically uske liye hum baad mein baat karte so this is the angle of lewis now the surface of the sternum so sternum having two surface anterior surface and the posterior surface anterior surface are convex and the rough and there is a attachment of two muscle okay is the upper part there is attachment on both side this is the external cleido mastoid this external head of external cleido mastoid muscle on the both side and the lateral side there is a origin of pectoralis major muscle okay so this is the origin of the pectoralis major muscle on the anterior surface on the posterior surface this is smooth convex concave posterior surface also the origin of two muscle so this is the फेसे पर द क्लैविकल उसके साइड में यहाँ पे एक मसल की ओरिजिन होती है उसको बोलते हम लोग स्टर्नो हाइड मसल दूसरा फेस कौन सा था फेसे फॉर द फर्स्ट टिप्स उसके साइड में ओरिजिन होती है उस मसल का नाम है स्टर्नो थाइराइड मसल सो अपर पार्ट इज स्टर्नो हाइड मसल लोअर पार्ट इज स्टर्नो थाइराइड मसल ऑन द बोथ साइड so this is the origin of the two muscle okay so this is the manibulium part okay now the second part is the sternal part or the blade part of the sword so sternum having again four border upper border ya superior border inferior border and the two lateral border okay so the upper border articulate with the manibulium from the manibulio sternal joint and the lower border articulate with the gyphoid process from the gp sternal joint and the lateral border they are the facet for the ribs so on the fifth facet or the fifth costal cartilage it is a broad part broadest part of the sternum okay now the surface sternum having a two surface 
anterior surface and the posterior surface. In the anterior surface, there is a three transverse ridges are present. So due to the transverse ridges, this is the rough is on the anterior surface and the posterior surface is smooth and these transverse ridges are formed by the fusion of four small segments of the sternum. This is known as the sternum bridge. Okay, so this is the anterior surface, convex rough anterior surface and the smooth posterior surface. Now the attachment on the sternum. So on the right lateral and the left lateral anterior surface is origin of the pectoralis major muscle. So after the six coastal cartilage. So this is the pectoralis major muscle on the both sides, right side and the left side of the sternum, the anterior surface of the sternum. On the posterior surface, there is the lower half, the origin of the one muscle that is the sternocostalis muscle. So this is the origin of the sternocostalis muscle on the both sides, the lower half of the posterior surface of the sternum. Okay. The posterior surface of the sternum also led to the peripura of the lungs. On the right side, the whole part led to the pulra of the lungs, whereas a Left side, the upper half is only to the pulra of the lungs and the lower half is known as the bay area of the sternum because there is a lesson with the pericardium of the heart. Okay, so this is the body of the sternum. Now the geophyte process, so this small pointed part, this small part is known as the geophyte process of the sternum. Now the geophyte process of the sternum having a two surface, anterior surface and the posterior surface. Okay, the anterior surface provide the attachment of the rectus abdominis muscle. So there is attachment for the rectus abdominis muscle whereas on the posterior surface it provide attachment on the external fiber of the diaphragm. This is the external fiber of the diaphragm. Where the tip of the geophyte process it provide the attachment for the linea alba. Okay. So this is the gentle feature and the bony, bony feature and the attachment on the Sternum. Now the importance of the angle of Lewis. Okay, so this is the angle of Lewis, which is formed between the manipurium and the sternum at the manipurio sternal joint. Okay, so there is articulation of the second coastal cartilage, the second ribs. So the counting of the ribs started from the this angle of Lewis. The second important point: the angle of Lewis lies between the fourth and fifth. It also the horizontal line passing through the external angle it separates the superior media stenum from the inferior media stenum. We also there is a origin of the beginning of the arts of aorta at the external angle and the termination of the arts of aorta at the external angle. Okay, the azygous vein arch over the root of the lungs on the external angle okay so these are the importance of the external angle also the upper border of the heart lying at this level so this is the importance of the external angle okay so this is all about the sternum thank you for watching this video